Get out! What? You heard me. Get out of my restaurant now. But I'm here to get something to eat. This isn't your kind of place. We charge for our food. Yeah, I know. I can pay. Oh, you can pay? I doubt you can afford to pay attention. Do you treat all your customers this way? No, only bums like you. Now are you gonna leave or are we gonna have to drag you out of here? Fine, I'll come back when I'm more welcome. Yeah, that'll never happen. Vanessa. What is it, Mr. Davis? Just what do you think you're doing? I'm setting the tables. Exactly. So what was that guy doing here? I think he wants dinner. We're not open yet. Why would you seat him? I didn't. He was already here. It doesn't matter. We're a fine dining establishment, not some soup kitchen. I get that, but what am I supposed to do? Ask him to leave? Well, no. Why would you do that? Why don't you just roll out the red carpet for him? I just serve the food. Am I supposed to screen the customers? <laughs> yeah, if he's homeless. Or perhaps you prefer to serve him drinks out of a paper bag. That's probably what he's used to. Mr. Davis threw the homeless man out of his restaurant. What will happen if he comes back? Oh, hey, Vanessa. Why the long face? Uh, it's my boss. He yelled at me at work again. I don't know why you still work there. You said that place is a disaster. I know, but the rest of the staff is really great to work with, especially the chef. Really? Then what seems to be the issue? Yeah, I mean, it's just my boss. He's so cheap, and sometimes the food goes bad. I don't know how he can run a business like that. I don't know. I mean, I don't even know how we're still open. The place is filthy. Sounds like a great place and a great team. You just need a new owner. I wish. Rachel, look what I found in the glassware again. At least it's not in the food this time. I don't know what Davis's deal is. I've been asking for him to get an exterminator. An exterminator? Good luck. Then he'd have to pay money. I know. I mean, his idea of pest control is a can of bug spray right before the inspector shows up. Yeah, that lasts about a day. He's just lucky they don't show up unannounced. That's for sure. Oh, I, I gotta run. I've got a customer at table four. That's the man that was here yesterday. Oh, he's back? Well, he must have gotten a good meal. I don't think so. Davis threw him out. Great. Sounds just like him. Should I even bother waiting on the guy? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you should wait until he gets here. But how long is he supposed to sit there? I better go take his order. I guess you probably have to, because you know who's not here. All right. I just hope I don't get in trouble. The homeless guy is back. Will Davis find out? You know, uh, I got the steak last time. This time I might go with the steak. Hi, welcome to Avenue. I'm Vanessa, and I'll be taking care of you tonight. Oh, okay. Before we get started, can I tell you about our chef's specials? What do you think? Sounds good to us. Hi, welcome to Avenue. Can I get you started with anything? Why, yes. But first, can you tell me what the catch of the day is? Mr. Davis? Come here! Would you excuse me for a moment? What is it, Mr. Davis? Why are you waiting on that guy? Because I didn't know what else to do. How about telling him he's not welcome? I already threw him out of here once before. I know, that's what Vanessa told me, but he already came back on his own. Uh, looks like I have to take care of this myself. It's you! What are you doing back here? Oh no, not again. Didn't I tell you? You're not welcome here. But I never got a meal last time. And you're not gonna get one tonight. Or ever, as far as I'm concerned. You can't make me leave. 
I'm not going anywhere. You're not gonna leave? I can't believe this. Why don't you just serve me a meal and we can both get this over with? Okay, fine. If it's food you want, it's food you'll get. Wait, I haven't ordered yet. You won't need to. I got something special in mind for you, and it's on the house. Fine, I'm not picky. Vanessa, I need you. How can I help you, Mr. Davis? That food that made the customers sick on Tuesday? The shrimp? Yeah, I stopped serving that. Uh, yeah, whatever. Where is it? I put it back in the freezer, like you said. It doesn't matter what I said. Go get it. Okay, it's your restaurant. Is Davis going to deliberately feed him spoiled food? What will happen to the man? Here you go. Shrimp surprise, and it's on the house. It smells a little strong. Ah, don't worry. Put a little of this on. Well, now that I got that handled, it shouldn't be much longer now. Oh, really? Why is that? Don't you worry about it. I just need you two to clean this place up. We always clean. What are you talking about? More than usual? Yeah. It's almost the beginning of the month. That's when they inspect us. Remember? The inspection, of course. How could we forget? That's right. The last thing I need is to get shut down again. Hey, Julia, it's Edgar. What is it, Edgar? I'm afraid I can't make it to work today. You can't come to work? Is something wrong? I think it's something I ate. That's terrible. Is there anything I can do for you? Yeah, I emailed you some paperwork. Can you handle it? Sure, I'll get right on it. Davis put Edgar in the hospital. Will he get caught for doing so? All right, you two, that's enough. What is it, Mr. Davis? Do you want us to clean somewhere else? I just got an email. The inspector's coming tomorrow. Tomorrow? I don't think the restaurant's ready. Exactly. I'm bringing a crew in here tonight to take care of this place. That's a good thing. I hope they can get it all. Well, they better, because you people are worthless. The county restaurant inspector is coming tomorrow. Will they shut Davis's restaurant down? Oh, hey, Vanessa. How was work? You're not going to believe it. The inspector's coming to the restaurant tomorrow. Why is that a good thing? Because unless Davis can pull a rabbit out of his hat, they're going to get shut down. But then you'll be out of a job. Why does that make you happy? Because then he'll have to sell. Hmm. Wish we had the money. Hello. You must be the inspector. I'm Clark Davis. I'm Ms. Schneider, and I'm expecting one of my colleagues. Well, I look forward to meeting him. Where is he? As a matter of fact, he's already been here. What? I haven't seen him. Oh, I think you already have. Speaking of which, here he is right now. Oh, hey, Julia. Hope I haven't kept you waiting. Hello, Edgar. Do you have that paperwork? It's right here. You're the inspector? That's right. <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? You didn't give me a chance. Edgar, let me see that. Sure. Here you go. This is for you. What? You're shutting me down again? This time, it's for good. I can't believe it. I'm out of business. So it looks like we're out of a job. Not necessarily. Not unless someone else takes over this restaurant. Who in their right mind would do that? I have somebody in mind. I heard there might be a restaurant for sale. 
Edgar shut down the restaurant, in part because of the way he was treated. Should he have given Davis another chance? Let us know your thoughts.